Welcome to this introduction to Oracle Machine Learning. I'm Mark Hornick with Oracle Machine Learning Product Management. For our agenda, we'll introduce Oracle Machine Learning and highlight a few use cases and the machine learning techniques that support them. We'll touch on the in-database algorithms and some of their differentiators, as well as the broader suite of OML components. Now we've placed powerful machine learning algorithms in the database. And these make rapid solution development and deployment to applications and dashboards possible. OML eliminates data movement for database data and simplifies the solution architecture, as there's no need to manage workflows involving third-party engines. OML enables users to augment applications and dashboards with machine learning-based intelligence quickly and easily. It's important to note that OML is part of the greater converged database, including spatial, graph, and other analytics, all in the same environment. It's also integrated with the broader Oracle ecosystem, including Oracle Analytics, Apex, and other components. Since it's included with autonomous database instances and Oracle database licenses, you already have free access to it. You can just start using it. So what can you do with machine learning? Well, we often think of industry-specific vertical use cases, but there are surprisingly many use cases that cut across industries, what I call horizontal use cases. Now, most enterprises have customers, products, equipment, and employees. For customers, use cases range from customer segmentation to fraud detection. For products, what products should we recommend to our customers? Perhaps we want to forecast demand, inventory, and revenue. On the equipment front, consider predictive maintenance. When should we service equipment? And finally, employees. What are the attributes of our best employees? And can we predict which are likely to leave? Now, each of these use cases is supported by one or more machine learning techniques. For example, customer lifetime value can be thought of as a classification problem. Does the customer have high, medium, or low value? Or maybe it's a regression problem. What's the dollar amount the customer brings to the company? And these examples just scratch the surface of what's possible. OML supports the use cases we've just highlighted and others by providing a rich set of algorithms across multiple machine learning techniques. Now you might ask why we have multiple algorithms for a given technique. Well, some are better at finding certain types of patterns in data than others. And some offer a greater degree of transparency to understand those patterns, the insights, that were discovered and each has its own computational demands, meaning that some are faster than others. So what's special about these algorithms? The in-database parallelized algorithms keep data under database control. There's no need to extract data to separate machine learning engines, which can be time consuming and affect scalability and data security. The algorithms enable batch and real-time scoring and provide explanatory prediction details so you can understand why an individual prediction is made. You know, it's often not enough to know if a customer will churn, but what factors most contribute to such a prediction. In database, machine learning models are first class objects in your database schema, and you can control access by granting and revoking permissions, audit user actions, and export and import machine learning models across databases. Once you build a model, it's immediately accessible through SQL queries. And as a database object, models are part of database backup, recovery, and security. As a result, you have faster time to market of machine learning-based solutions. You can use prediction operators in SQL queries, make predictions from R and Python, as well as deploy models on autonomous database using no-code UIs and REST interfaces. Regarding other differentiators, OML is specifically designed to take advantage of Oracle real application clusters and the Exadata platform. Some of the optimizations include algorithms that leverage distributed parallelism and scalability across cluster nodes. Scoring takes advantage of function pushdown to process data at the storage tier, a unique Exadata feature, which makes scoring that much more scalable and performant. One of the challenges with other machine learning platforms is the need for data to fit in memory. With OML, data is brought into memory incrementally as needed. Further, models are cached and can be shared across queries when used for scoring. And OML leverages disk-aware structures, relying on the database memory manager for efficient allocation in multi-user environments. 
Now, this table provides a quick summary of the components available in OML and where they are available across Oracle Database and Autonomous Database. As we've already noted, OML provides support for in-database machine learning from the top three data science languages, SQL, R, and Python. OML for R and OML for Pi allow you to manipulate data directly in the database using data frame proxy objects. You can also invoke user-defined R and Python functions in database spawned and managed R and Python engines, even from SQL and REST. On autonomous database serverless, OML provides a built-in notebook environment, as well as no-code user interfaces for AutoML and data and model monitoring in support of MLOps. OML Services provides REST endpoints for model management, deployment, real-time scoring, and monitoring. And Oracle Data Miner is our first user interface, a SQL developer extension with a drag and drop interface. In this example, we build a classification model to predict if customers are likely to buy travel insurance. The PL SQL code on the left shows using the create model to function from the DBMS data mining package to build a model using support vector machine algorithm. Now you can build that same database model using R and Python functions from the Python and R interfaces. And you can use such models to score an individual customer using the prediction probability operator in the SQL query, using the model name and see that this customer is likely to buy insurance. This query could easily be invoked from ODBC, JDBC, Apex, or any other interface that enables SQL access to the database. And of course, you can score using the R and Python APIs as well. With OML for Python and R, Oracle Machine Learning empowers users with open source environments, leveraging the database as a high performance computing environment. Database tables and views are accessed through data frame proxy objects with overloaded functionality that produces SQL transparently behind the scenes. As we've mentioned, the in-database machine learning algorithms are exposed through native Python and R APIs, producing the same first-class in-database models as through the SQL API. OML for Pi also introduces support for automated machine learning, which we'll discuss more in a moment. Users can create user-defined Python and R functions and manage them in the database, as well as store and manage Python and R objects directly in the database, avoiding the need to manage flat files. And user-defined Python and R functions can be invoked from SQL and REST interfaces for integration with applications and dashboards. There's also no need to provision Python or R engines, so it simplifies solution deployment. Expanding on solution deployment, you know, deploying solutions using R and Python can introduce challenge for application developers, including separately managing R and Python engines, as well as scalability and performance concerns. OML for R and OML for Pi support native R and Python interfaces to the in-database algorithms, but they also support embedded execution to deploy R and Python code using database spawned and controlled engines. And these user-defined functions may also leverage third-party packages from the R and Python ecosystems. With embedded execution, you can invoke user-defined R and Python functions from SQL and on autonomous database serverless also using a REST API. An additional benefit is the ability to easily specify system-provided data parallel and task parallel processing. For example, you can store a native Python model in the database and use it to score large volume data across multiple Python engines that are spawned and managed by the database environment. Each engine scores chunks of data provided by the database, perhaps thousands or a million rows at a time. And the scores produced from all engines are available in the database for immediate access as a single database table. To visualize embedded execution, you know, your data scientist could leverage additional Python packages like scikit-learn or matplotlib to develop and deploy solutions with user-defined functions stored in the database. Now, this serves as a handoff to application developers. Then, using SQL or REST endpoints, developers can deploy the data scientist's work using database-spawned and managed Python engines, where functions and data are automatically loaded. Results, which may be both structured and image data, can be stored in the database and the Python engines automatically cleaned up. 
To help hand off data scientists work to IT or other SQL users, this example highlights storing a user-defined Python function in the database script repository and invoking it from a SQL query. In this example, our goal here is to simply build a machine learning model using Python and store that model in the database, then invoke this from SQL. Now on the left, wrapped in a PL SQL block, we have a user-defined Python function that builds a linear model from scikit-learn, saves this model in the database, and returns the model type. We're storing this function in the database Python script repository with the name fit linear regression model. On the right, we show invoking this Python function from SQL using the PyQ table eval table function. Running this statement results in a Python engine being automatically spawned, the function loaded, and the table data loaded as a pandas data frame. When it's finished, you have a native Python model stored in the database ready to be used by another Python user. Now we're going to move on to AutoML, but before talking about that, let's dive into the ML modeling process that a typical data scientist might go through as motivation. Now, data scientists typically have access to multiple algorithms to choose from for a given use case. Now, which should be tried and which is gonna turn out to be the best? So we'll start with one algorithm, perhaps SVM. We'll build a model using default settings or hyperparameters and tune those hyperparameters to hopefully improve model quality. We're gonna compare each new model against previous models, selecting the current best model. And then we repeat this process with the next algorithm. Now, this iterative and trial and error approach is expensive, both in terms of time and compute resources. It also requires that you understand how to tune each type of model. So this is where AutoML comes in. To eliminate the repetitive tasks of model building and evaluation, AutoML takes over the model tuning process, so there's no need for you to understand how to tune each algorithm's specific hyperparameters. AutoML is available programmatically through OML for Pi and supports automated algorithm and feature selection as well as model tuning and selection. Building upon OML for Pi's AutoML API, the AutoML UI is a no-code user interface supporting automated machine learning for both data scientist productivity and non-expert user access to in-database algorithms. The AutoML UI automates model building with minimal user input. Just specify the data and the target in what's called an experiment, and the tool does the rest. However, you can adjust settings such as the number of top models to select, the model selection metric, the autonomous database service level, which controls parallelism, and even the specific algorithms that you want to consider. With a single click, you can generate editable starter notebooks. And these notebooks contain Python code using OML for Pi that selects the data columns used, builds the selected model, including the settings that AutoML chose to produce that model, and scores data and evaluates results. You can enhance this generated notebook to apply your own domain expertise and augment the solution. In addition, you can deploy models to OML services from the AutoML UI as REST endpoints in just a few clicks. Now I've mentioned OML services a few times, so let's introduce that component. With OML services on autonomous database, you can manage and deploy machine learning models using a REST API for flexible application integration. Scoring using these models is optimized for streaming in real-time applications, meaning they're fast, often with millisecond response times. And unlike other solutions that require provisioning a VM for 24-7 availability, OML services is provisioned and maintained as part of autonomous database. So you pay only the additional compute when producing actual predictions. OML services enables key elements of your MLOps strategy, supporting model management, deployment, and most recently, data and model monitoring. To make monitoring easier and more accessible, we introduced the data monitoring UI as a no-code user interface for tracking changes in your data over time. You can easily track overall data drift using a single drift metric, as well as examine feature statistics on individual features and their interactions. Similarly, the new model monitoring UI is a no-code user interface for tracking model quality over time. It enables you to detect problems with model accuracy and possible underlying causes. 
Like data monitoring, you can track overall model drift using a single drift metric and gain insight into changes in predictor impact on model predictions. These metrics help guide the decision of when model rebuilding is necessary. So to wrap up our discussion, here are just a few of the benefits users get when using Oracle Machine Learning. These range from simpler solution architecture and management, multiple language APIs, minimizing or eliminating data movement, through AutoML, data and model governance, scalability and flexible development and deployment options, where deployment covers the cloud, on-premises, or hybrid environments. OML's pricing structure is also simple. The available OML features are included with the core product at no additional cost. So for more information on Oracle Machine Learning and to get started using OML, check out these resources. And to try OML on Autonomous Database, check out the Oracle Live Labs workshops. One of the links here is for OML Fundamentals, which covers several of the components that we've covered. So thanks for learning about OML.